Hi there everyone, Matt here. I hope you're well. Today I'm revisiting a topic that I covered a few weeks ago about MFA push fatigue. Microsoft have released a really exciting new update which is now generally available called number matching. Uh, this feature means that in the Authenticator app rather than just send your users push notifications to enable an MFA request you can actually ask the user to input a number. Whilst an extra step for the user this does uh, provide a much better extra layer of protection and something that I had mentioned was coming on the roadmap. Um, why is this important? It stops an MFA push fatigue attack from being an actual possibility and you are removing and de-risking your business from an entire attack vector just by turning on one small feature. Um, it takes about um, an extra maybe three seconds for a user to just check the number on their phone and then put that number in to the prompt box. So it's in your tenant, it's a feature that's available, it's absolutely something that every business should be using. So let's have a quick demonstration of it, see what it looks like and show you how to enable it in your tenant in just a few minutes. Now, and welcome back. So we have the portal.office.com sign in page here. I have my phone in my hand here and I'll just start recording the screen for that now. Um, so what we want to do is sign in. You can see I've got my custom branding applied as recommended. Pop in my password. I'm now challenged for an authentication number. I then get asked if I want to approve the sign in on my phone. That number then comes up. I put the number in on the phone. We hit yes. I face ID it and it then asks if I wish to stay signed in. That is in a nutshell how it works. It really doesn't take a whole lot of extra time. It's well worth having. Um, I don't understand why any organization wouldn't want that feature enabled in their tenant. So when it comes to enabling this feature, it's fairly straightforward. We need to edit the authentication method policy for Microsoft Authenticator in Azure AD. So as you can see, I'm already in Azure AD over here in my tenant. I've gone to security and then authentication methods. And here you can see that I'm targeting two users using the Microsoft Authenticator method. If we go there, we can have a look at the basics and we can see that the users are targeted. Now, I've got a very small operation. In larger operations, you'd have a number of groups here when you were rolling this out and you can target groups as opposed to users. If we go over to configure, we can see that require number matching for push notifications is enabled and included is all users. So again, you've got some granularity here. You could exclude users that you didn't want to have this apply to, or you could select particular groups of users. So you could still configure authenticator, but not have to have number matching enabled. That is also a possibility. Um, I've got the application name in push notifications um, and I've also got the geographic location in push and passwordless notifications enabled because I think it's just a nice a nice feature and a good thing to have. So um, have you got Microsoft Authentication in your business? Are you using it? If you are using it, are you using number matching? If not, you need to make the best of it. Um, it's not a paid for feature over and above what you've already got if you're already using Authenticator and I, I highly suggest you go ahead and configure this. If you want me to go and configure it for you then I'd be more than happy to do so. If you've got any more questions as always give me a shout and if you liked the video please please comment on it, like it, share it amongst your network. The engagement really helps me. Um, if for nothing else stay motivated to keep on producing you content uh, to try and help businesses like yours. All right, until next time, see you soon. Bye.